Hello! Today we're going to be looking at troubleshooting some PFSense installations. And so what you're seeing on your screen right now is sometimes a common problem or can happen. Uh, it just depends on the day. But uh, you're not going to be able to get, you're not pulling down the a DHCP address on your WAN. Uh, specifically, we, we want to set up the, the WAN to be a NAT interface. So in this video we're going to be we're going to be troubleshooting that and hopefully that's helpful for you. All right. Here we go. Well, first things first is you want to make sure that your your virtual machine has the correct settings that you want it to be set to. So let's go up to our VM, go to our settings and just double check that it is what we want. So network set to NAT. Our second one is a LAN segment that we've we've created. Third one is another one as well. Okay. And once you're in here, let's we we PFSense is detecting that we have interfaces, so that's great. They're plugged in. But let's look at a, when we do assign interfaces, we can actually get some more information. And at this point, we can see that the, the WAN interface is down. So let's start there with our troubleshooting. So with a little bit of troubleshooting, I, I was able to get the, the WAN to get a IP address here. Uh, and I'll go through some of the steps that I did here. So first off, I tried to uh, go to the host machine or through the shell and do an if config and choose my interface EM0 up. I ran I ran that, went to check if it was there, and the interface did not go up. And so what that means is there was a there was a conflict between in my in my virtual environment. And so in order to get my my machine to be showing me an IP address, because we do we do really need this, uh, you have to go to your VM settings. And we need to we need to create a custom uh, NAT network here. So in order to, in order to do that, we need to actually go to our edit virtual network editor, and we need to add a network. So right now I have a NAT here. I'm going to change settings. And if we look at the settings for this NAT, we're, we're setting it to NAT, uh, and then connect to the host virtual adapter to this network. I'm going to be doing local DHCP so I can grab an IP address. I, I set it to this network, so you can feel free to do that as well. And hit OK. Once you hit OK, it's going to start creating that, that, um, that virtual network adapter. And it will be good to go. Go into your your PFSense VM settings. Go to the network that you want, and choose choose the one that you just made. Reboot your PFSense machine. You can do it with with five. Wait for it to reboot, and then you're going to see that it's it's grabbed an IP address, like so. And you do need to have that working. So there you go. That's one of the one of the troubleshooting steps uh, of grabbing or getting your WAN to have a DHCP address. All right, thank you.